High-class motoring hit the headlines on Tuesday as Rolls-Royce and Bentley revealed their latest sales snapshots. And Aston Martin, whose performance is less than prestige. Its shares were down as much as 12% on news that a key measure of 2019 profit will come in between 130 and 140 million pounds, only just over half what it was a year ago. This is the key. Famed as James Bond's wheels of choice, Aston has already cut its outlook twice in the last six months. Its share price value has lost around three quarters since its 2018 listing. Europe did worse than other markets, it says. Tough trading conditions continued in what boss Andy Palmer described as a very disappointing year. Though not for Rolls-Royce, which has flushed from a 25% jump in sales over the same period. The 116-year-old British company, now owned by BMW, said it sold a record 5,152 cars in 2019, up over 1,000 on the previous year. Its first ever SUV, the Cullinan, underpinned sales, it said. Torsten müller utfus is chief executive. We have basically seen that 25% intake worldwide in basically all markets. And uh, China has done a tremendous job for us as well, and uh, I think there was good confidence. 2019 for Bentley meant a return to profitability. The VW-owned brand sold just over 11,000 vehicles, boosted by its new Continental GT convertible and a series of derivatives and limited editions. Operating profit at $73 million compares to a loss of around $320 million the previous year. And what the luxury carmaker says is proof that it's successfully turning itself around.